Hi crafters, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. This is Jana with Purple Girl Crafts. Today we're going to make this trifold card. When you open it up, it's got two pop-up windows. Now you can leave those solid and not do the cutouts. This card measures five by seven and it will stand up when displayed. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need is our scoreboard. Our first piece is going to be cut at 10 by 7. And then on the 10 inch side, we are going to score this at 2 and a half and 7 and a half. Next, we are going to need two pieces. These are going to be cut at 7 by 3 inches. We are going to score these two pieces on the 7 inch side. We are going to score these at 1, 3 and 3 quarters, and 4 and 3 quarters. And we're going to do both of them. So again, at 1, 3 and 3 quarters, and 4 and 3 quarters. So this is what you should have. Next, we need four pieces, and these are going to be cut at six and three quarters by two and a half. Next, we'll need four pieces. These are cut at two by six and a half. Next, we will need two pieces. These are cut at two and three quarters by one and three quarter. And then we will need two pieces. These are cut at one and a half by two and a half. Next, we will need two pieces, and these are cut at two and three quarters by three quarters. And then we will need two pieces, and these are cut at two and a half by one half inch. Next, we are going to take the two inside pieces that we're going to work on. We don't need our scoreboard. Now you can use a ruler and just do a border to cut these out, a, a window, or if you have a die cut, you can use a die cut. I'm going to use a die cut because I have one. You want to make sure you are cutting inside this window not here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I'm going to make sure it's even and I'll be right back. Okay, so my pieces are now cut. Again, you can use a circle, an oval, you could cut this any shape you wanted. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to score these out. So the first one is going to be a mountain fold. Second one is also going to be a mountain fold. The third one is going to be a valley fold, but right now I'm doing it as a mountain fold. I realize that. But when you lift it up, you'll see that it has to go the other way. Now I also am going to take and just cut a sliver off the end of this because when I made the first card, it got caught a little bit. So if you just cut a little sliver away, it will help to make this open and close freely. Okay, so that's for the first one. The second one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to speed up the camera. So these are the two pieces that you will end up with. So I'm going to move those out of the way, and we're going to now take the base of the card. I realize that we did not cut a piece for the inside back. So if you want a piece that is six and three quarters by four and three quarters for this inside piece, and I just cut a yellow one. So I'm gonna put that in here. So now we're going to take this base of the card and we're going to go ahead and fold those two score marks in and then crease those out. And you wanna make sure they line up and have a tight fit 
towards the center of the card. So that is the base of your card. Now for the next pieces, I'm just going to lay this back out flat. So we're going to glue the center piece in. So that will sit there. And then we're going to glue two of these of the pattern paper and then the yellow paper. So the yellow paper will sit on the bottom and then the pattern paper on the top. So I'm going to speed through the video and glue these down. Okay, so those pieces are all now done. So now we're going to work on the two pop-up frames. And before we do that, I just want to show you that, so these other four pieces, these will be on the front of the card. So you have your mats and your layers. Now on these two cards, you can put down your mats and your layers again. So I'm just going to lay these back flat out just so that you can see. And then we're going to glue the two mats and layers to these cards. So the yellow will go there on the bottom of each and then the pattern paper on top. And I want to make sure the pattern is going the same way on these. And then these two pieces will be on the sides So I'm going to turn these and then I'm going to glue these. Okay, now we have all of those glued down and we're going to adhere these to the inside of the card. So you can either do it with the window on the top going this way or you can turn it and do it this way. I'm going to do it this way like I did the original card. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put glue on this section right here. And then we're going to lay this down so that it is even with the fold of the card and lined up with that yellow piece of paper on the bottom on the mat. And then once you have this lined up, you can just take the card, the flap, and just close it on itself. And then push that down. And then I'm going to flip it back over, and I'm going to use my bone folder, and then again just press that glue out. And then we're going to do the other side the same way. So we're just going to put glue on that one flap. I'm going to line it up so it's with the edge of the card and lined up with the yellow mat on the card. And then once I have it lined up, let me turn this just so I make sure it's lined up on the side. I couldn't see it. And then just close that down and then press that glue. And then again, open it up and again, just make sure that glue is pressed down. Now for the rest of the closure, the easiest way to do it, and this is how it's going to sit, is you can either just sit there and glue it like that, or you can lift it up, just have it in your left hand, put glue on this piece right here, and then what you want to do is you just want to close it on itself. So just take it and just close it right there, open it back up, and then just as you close the card, then set it down. And it will line up to the edge of the card and fit perfectly in there. So we're going to turn the card and we're going to do it again the same way. I'm just going to crease out that and fold. Okay, so again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put glue on this one flap. And 
And then you just want to close it on itself. And just kind of hold it and then just close the card. And just line it up at the edge. Just like that. Now when you do close this card, you've got to close the flaps at the same time. Otherwise the card will not close. And then let's just crease those out again. So that is the inside of the card. So next I'm going to go ahead and we're going to glue the flaps on the front, so the mat and the layer. And you just want to make sure that you have your pattern going the same way as you did before on the inside of the card. Okay, so those are all now glued down. And this is the... Okay, so now we're going to work on the belly band. And for the belly band, I have a piece that is 1 inch by 12 inches, and then another piece that is 11, or you can even do 12 by 1 half. It doesn't really matter because you're going to hide it with the embellishment that you put on top of it. So I'm going to take the yellow and I'm going to glue it. And this is the piece that is a half inch, and this one's only 11 because I didn't want to use a whole 12 inch piece of paper because it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to glue this down to the middle of this 12 inch piece. And I'm just going to press that glue out. Okay, now for the card, I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to place this band underneath it. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you don't get it too tight so that it will slide on and off, but you also don't want it too loose that it will just slide off. So I'm just going to take one piece. I'm just going to fold it up, try to make sure it's lined up with that line on my cutting board. And then you're just going to fold that over. Just kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. Now you can crease those out if you want. Some people do, some people don't. I generally do, but not totally creased out. And then crease that side. And then just make sure that it will slide. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this. And it doesn't matter which side it is. I'm just going to mark where the end is, and I'm going to put glue from where my thumb is to the end. And then I'm just going to stick those two together. And then just push that down. Now before it completely dries, I want to put it back on here. And I, first I want to make sure that it does fit, and that I don't struggle with it, and that it's not too loose. So I'm just going to make mine just a little bit bigger, just because I just was just a little bit too tight. So once you play around with it, and that's why it's a good thing to use the glue, go ahead and slide it back off. And now I'm going to go ahead and crease those, but not all. I'm not going to make them really, really crease. I'm just going to do it just a little bit, just so there's that definition there. And then push that glue down in the center. Okay, now for the belly band. I'm going to put this back on one more time. And then I'm going to grab my embellishment, which I just cut a piece of green. Okay, so we're going to let that dry before we put the embellishment on. So I'm going to decorate the inside of the card. So I have these two little hippos that I drew colored. We're going to put them on here, and right now I'm just going to kind of play around and see where I want them to go. Probably put one on the top and one on the bottom. And I'll probably put him on the inside so it looks like he's inside the, the little frame. So I'm just going to put glue on the bottom of his feet. And that's the only place that he's going to be secured to this card. And then I'm just going to put him right about there. Now for the other one, 
make sure you don't have any glue sticking anywhere underneath him or on top so otherwise it will stick to the inside of the card. Okay, we'll just leave him there for a second. For this one, we're going to do the same thing, but I think I'm going to have him leaning in. Actually, I think I'm going to have him tilting so he's looking like he's looking up to the other one. And again, you want to make sure there's no glue anywhere on this. So I'm just making sure there is no glue because it was just a tiny bit. Okay, that should be good. Okay, for this other guy, we're going to put him on the top. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out his arm. So I'm just going to cut around the line on his one arm. So I want his arm to be sticking out of the frame. See, I like it like that. Cause it's almost like he's just, he's at the top window looking down. So I'm going to put glue on his the back of his hand and then on his, the front of his legs again. And then I'm going to let his paw stick out of the frame and then secure him on the other side. Then I have a bunch of these flowers. And I just decided that instead of doing any words on the inside, I was just going to put some flowers on here. So I'm just going to place them on the inside of the card. And I'm doing a pink, a light pink, and then an orange on each side just to even that out. So I like the way that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue those down. This hip, I'm going to secure him just a little bit more. I think I'm going to put some glue just on the side of his face there. That's just a tiny bit, just to hold him. I'm going to, I'm going to speed up the camera, and I'm going to glue down the flowers next. So that is the pleated part on the inside for now. So we're going to grab that belly band again, and we're going to add this front piece. It's going to hide the seam where it didn't meet up. So we're going to put this back on the card so we can line up the banner. And you want this in the middle, or at least to hide that seam. It could be off-centered if you want it. So I'm going to grab my ruler, and I'm just going to put my ruler on the side here just so that I know that it's even when I glue it down. So I'm going to pick it back up, and I'm going to put glue just down the center and just a little bit less than an inch wide, just so that glue doesn't come over the top of that. And then I'm going to just going to put this right back down on top of that belly band and kind of push it down, and then I'm going to take it off just in case there's any glue over the edges that it's not going to stick to the card. So now I have another little hippo, and this one's just going to sit there. He's just going to sit on the side, and then I'm going to attach some flowers to the rest of the banner. That looks very cute. Okay, so we'll leave that. So now that I have some extra flowers, I'm going to open this back up, and we're going to add some flowers to the inside. And I'm just going to play around, and I'm just sitting here, and I'm just gluing these down. I just wanted to add just a little bit more color on the inside. I added one so it looks like he's holding it, and then it looks like he's dropping them to his friend below. Or her friend. So that's it. That is the card that we made today. This is a fun pop-up card. You could use it for any occasion. Thank you for watching me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, 
please do so. And until then, happy crafting, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.